Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bike Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, thanks Derek, this is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Danilo. Fred. Tellez. Casemiro. Marquinhos. Well, he's certainly not alone. And Neymar. And he's taken us away. Maurice Weishgill. That's Maurice Danilo. Weishgill. Please make sure you ready at the Over main the... Oh, what an opportunity. And still danger here. And he did what he had to do defensively. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. And a tidy tackle. And Brazil with the ball once more. Gabriel Jesus and the keeper there to deal with it takes the shot a goal to give them a 1-0 lead an excellent value for that advantage you've got to say well here it is again he hits this so sweetly doesn't he that's a brilliant goal from a top class player Goal. The ball is moving once more. Number How important will that opening goal prove to be? Vinicius Junior. Neymar. And Brazil in a position of menace. Bongisa. Strong but fair tackle. He has teammates around him. Neymar! And a goal it is! They lead by two now! Fully deserved! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such goal. power. There's no Four stopping that. Two nil here, and the ball is moving Gabriel again. Jesus. Rafinha Fred Here's Rafinha And cleared away And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game Coming up half-time, don't forget we'll be having the lucky raffle and also don't forget the lucky program draw So back underway with an intriguing second half in prospect Can he find the right pass? He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Gabriel Jesus. Vinicius Junior. Rafinha. Can he take advantage? And dive in to thwart it. up defensively Shupamoting Shupamoting but timely defending when it mattered he got nothing but ball he's conceded the corner and the substitution will occur now well the attack will peter out keeper's ball Twenty minutes remaining. That's a lovely ball. Chances on. And it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! Well, 
Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Neymar Jr. Abubakar. Fluency of movement. Abubakar. Surely. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end. But you still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Five minutes to go. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Offside the decision. Stoppage time there coming up. Jesus. Good technique displayed. Now, fine reading of the situation. And the referee says that will do it for this match day one contest. And it doesn't get much better than three points for starters. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points, and you're halfway there. Hello, and welcome to the Al Faik Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Al Khor. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's second time around in the group stage for these two teams. It's Brazil and they take on Serbia. Thanks, Derek. Well, it was a really good start for our hosts, wasn't it? But they need to back it up with another good display today. The fans certainly expect them to. Fred. Marquinhos. Alex Tenez. Casemiro. Rafinha. Danilo. So to dispossess your opponent. He has teammates around him. Routine, really. Tennis. Gabriel Jesus. Pass over the top in Neymar's direction. And across the byline, a goal kick as a result. Milinkovic Savic. Be sure to purchase today's fan item of the well, game. Well, he went strongly a into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. The item of the game is available at all merchandise stands. Milinkovic Savic. Nemanja Gudel. Dusan Tadic. Alexander Mitrovic. And the ball's gone. Fred, Neymar, here's Rafinha, Casemiro, difficult player to stop, Casemiro, Gabriel Jesus, the fourth official has Can indicated that it will be a minimum of three minutes of the time. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. It has 
has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Kostic. Vinicius Junior. Gabriel Jesus. And he takes it away. Tadic. Will it be? And there it is. 1 0. The Reverts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Goal. 1 0. For then. Serbia. Number 11. So half an hour remaining. Neymar. Vinicius Junior. Well time tackle. It is to be a throw in. Casemiro. Vinicius Junior. Neymar. Fred. Rafinha. Brazil now in a potentially dangerous position. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Milinkovic Savic. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Gabriel Jesus. Neymar. Big chance to get them on terms. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready. And now they will make the personnel change. So the ball is rolling again. That's one all. Only five minutes left for play. And tension galore with the teams locked together. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Neymar thrives on running at defenders. Not a great challenge. Free kick here. clearance that was called for and the final whistle is sounded a share of the spoils here Stuart what did you Prince make of their performance me, yes Devin they certainly weren't at their best today but sometimes you just have to keep fighting keep believing and that's what they did it's a well earned draw in the end good evening and welcome to Alcor welcome to the Al Bike Stadium the venue for this one I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And the group stage action has been pulsating up to this point. This is the final game of the group for these two sets of players. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Neymar, Casemiro, Vinicius Junior, now Neymar, well, a classic example of how to intercept, Granit Xhaka, Renato Stefan with it, Embolo, well that's how to do it defensively, Casemiro there, A bit sloppy in possession. Rafinha. Neymar. Casemiro. And successfully cut out. Chances on. Well, here we 
you can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Goal. And Brazil Four gets the ball Switzerland. rolling once more. How will they react to the setback? And mopping up defensively. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Well, inching towards half-time, and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking play. If, however, they could be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Fred. Rafinha. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Corner to Brazil as they look to get back into this game. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, Neymar's cross was always going to be threatening, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So, in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Coming up at half-time, there will be a display from the police dog display team. So stay in your seats for that. So, back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. It is to be a throw-in. Well, he's given it away. A real opening now. And into the net from Gabriel Jesus. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. Goal! So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Gabriel Jesus! Oh, good. Oh, well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. And they will make the change now. You can sense the threat is there. Rodriguez and he has options available not a touch off the defender last of all so a corner and just why there really wasn't much in that at all Vinicius Junior Thiago Silva Marquinhos Rafinha, Neymar, couldn't find a teammate, throw in here, and they're making a change, Stefan, Zakaria, really good challenge, well they've lost possession of the ball, Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. Effective challenge. Well, it's almost over, but not quite. The fans still with a bit of nail-biting to do, Stuart. Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football and had the better individuals. Can they now just see this through? Not long left. This could square the game. What late excitement. And the match is level. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change goal of pace. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent 18. goal. Steven so on the way again. And it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of five minutes of added time. Throw in for Brazil. And 
And the final whistle, a share of the spoils. Stuart, what have you made of Brazil's Thanks performance here? Yes, the disappointment is clear to see. Obviously, with 10 minutes to go, they must have been feeling confident that they could see it out. But that's football, Derek. That's what we love about it. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Albight Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And really looking forward to bringing you this World Cup Round of 16 match. It's Brazil versus the Korea Republic. Well, Derek, although the hosts are clear favourites, this could prove to be a tricky game for them, unless they score an early goal, because their opponents will sit deep, remain compact and defend with determination. They also pose a threat on the counter-attack and are really good at set plays. It's going to be an interesting one. Rafinha. Fred. Vinicius Junior. Takes the shot. Lee Jae-sung. Jung Woo Young. May have to win it back. Tellez. Vinicius Jr. Casemiro. Fred. Encouraging move this from Brazil. Teammates available. Neymar! Oh, an audacious effort! And not too far away. You have to say that was a really good attempt. What a spectacular goal that would have been. Kim Min Jae, Wang Hee Chan, Wang In Byung, Wang Hee Chan. Oh, good use of the ball. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Just wanted to get it out of there. Jung, Lee Jae Sung. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Fred. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Cleared away. Chance to do damage. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. The first official has situation. Be a one minute here. Minute of added time. Lee Jae Sung. And there it is, the half time whistle. Coming up at half time, there will be a display from the police dog display team. So stay in your seats for that. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Marquinhos. Fred. Gabriel Jesus, Vinicius Junior, Neymar, Rafinha. Now, who can he play it to? But they took care of the situation defensively. Son, strong but fair tackle. In with a chance. Really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box. Kim Young Won. Kim Jin Su. Good work from Brazil to win the ball back. Gabriel Jesus. Congratulations to today's lucky fan of the match, Simon Cho. Please come to guest relations to Danilo. claim your prize. Rafinha. Neymar. Gabriel Jesus. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil nil. There it is. They're in front. Oh, 
Promising sequence. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. But play is halted this time. Free kick. Well, the referee not messing about. He's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card, and he knew it was coming. And time for the change now. And that was a free kick. Hits with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. And so into the final five minutes. Sure. Juan Ui Jo. They've got to be really mindful of the, the time situation. Attacking though they might be. Fine leading of the situation. And Brazil have made it through to the quarter Please remember that will be yes, it's a close contest, but one I think they just game. about deserve to win. They did play the more creative football, they did try and press the ball high up the field when they could, and they showed good energy. They certainly need those qualities going forward. A very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusale Stadium, just to the north of the Doha City Centre. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu for you is this World Cup quarter-final. It's Brazil versus Germany. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere, and everything to play for. The last four places up for grabs here. Rafinha. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. He has teammates around him. It might be. But can't avail himself of the chance. Well, he'd be disappointed with that. Maybe it's just come a bit too early for him. Kimmich. And it's Gabriel Jesus. He's got can he put them in front? A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. Back underway, and one nil it is. Let's see what happens next. Perfect tackle. Rafinha. Casemiro. Vinicius Junior. Fred. Danilo. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Müller. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Vinicius Junior. Alex Teres. Gundogan. Müller. takes exception to the challenge free kick but it was apparently a bookable offense well no debate over that one it's a yellow card all day long they've given it away so almost at half time and they are making good use of home advantage still a bit of work to do though Stuart your thoughts on what you've seen well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, the referee saw it as a bookable offence. I think he's got it absolutely right. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Coming up at half-time, don't forget, we'll be having the lucky raffle, and also don't forget the lucky program draw. So into the second the half, can programs. Germany fight back after that first 45? Foul there, 
free kick awarded. Joshua Kimmich. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. That's a foul. And it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Gundogan. Now with Werner. Danilo. Gabriel Jesus. Vinicius Junior. And Neymar. And a decent save. Full credit. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, let's just have another look at this. The cross from Neymar is played into a really dangerous area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Goal! So back on the way with the lead standing six, at 2-0. Thiago Silva. Good tackle. Considerable progress made by Gundogan. As could reduce the deficit. And it's in! Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and what a header it is from Muller. He just knows how to get on the end of crosses. It's a very goal good goal. For Germany. So Germany just one behind now, Thomas and who's Miller. to say that the momentum isn't with them at this stage? Casemiro. Vinicius Junior. Mateus Cunha. Patient build-up at the moment can sense the threat is there but it's one pass after another I think I spoke too soon wasn't the best of passes finally and a tiny challenge well with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them still the prospect of late excitement in this match Mateus Cunha Rafinha. Fred. That's a good looking ball. The fourth has indicated there will be a minimum of five minutes of added time. The clearance that was needed. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Still not clear. A time for cool heads. Full time, and Brazil guaranteed to be in the last four. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for visiting us. This is the time, so they won't worry about that. They had to be resilient at times. They were periods where they were put under pressure and they could get full control of the midfield. But they're through to the next round, and that's what it is. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lucille Stadium, just to the north of the Doha City Centre. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we're about to bring you a very big occasion indeed, the semi-final of the World Cup. It's Brazil versus Argentina. Well, this could be an absolute classic, and the prize couldn't be any bigger, could it? A place in the World Cup final. Let's just hope we get two teams that want to play good football and come out and attack the opposition. This should be a good game. Vinicius Junior. Neymar. And as Gabriel... Might it be Gabriel Jesus? Great work defensively, but still the chance. Marcos Acuna. It's with Paredes. Rodrigo de Paul. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Giovanni Lo Celso. Di Maria. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. Messi.
Brazil get the ball rolling once more. How will they react to this setback? Do they mean business on this occasion? And let's give credit to the defending. And a chance to level it. De Paul. Martinez. Rodrigo De Paul. Oh, they've lost it. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Vinicius Junior. Neymar. Casemiro. Rafinha. Lo Celso. Paredes. Martinez. Trying to really get at the opposition here. But they took care of the situation defensively. The fourth and the referee is going to add on four added four minutes. Four minutes of added time. And Neymar! It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close, it was a decent effort. Just need to keep plugging away now and surely the goal will come. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form, and offenders will be removed from the stadium. So, back underway here into the second half. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. A very effective challenge put in. Di Maria. De Paul. Lionel Messi. Good defending. And Brazil have it back now. And across the byline, a goal kick as a result. De Paul. That's how to dispossess your opponent. 30 minutes left for play. Gabriel Jesus. Neymar. Here's Gabriel Jesus. And Neymar. Moving the ball effectively. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. De Paul. Messi. Thiago Silva wins it. Di Maria. It should be. Well, got it for power and so close to finding the net. And time for the change now. Danilo. Jesus. Vinicius Junior. Neymar. On the ball in an attacking position. Is it going to be? Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. Gabriel Jesus! Oh, the goal! What drama here! Level pegging now, and who's to say what will happen next? Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. And they're making a change. Goal for the hosts. So, a level contest. 1 1. Gabriel Jesus! A stoppage time situation. One minute here. A super tackle, and they've won possession. That the is that after 90 minutes. They are the level, and extra time. time is coming up. Well, back on the way here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. Can they create something from here? And it's Gabriel Jesus. Now with Neymar. Neymar! Goal! Well, still a long way to go in this one, but can it be one cross in the final? If the celebrations are anything to go by, the fans believe that's the case. Well, 
here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Going well. Oh, a vital interception. And he could be in proper trouble here. And he knocked it over the touchline, so it will be a throw in here. The first and one minute of stoppage time has been added on. The first period of extra time is over. 15 minutes left. Maybe after that, penalties. We'll see. So two substitutes to come on in one go. Well, on they go. Second period of extra time is underway. Really getting stuck in. Fabinho. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. And he clears the danger. Well, five minutes remaining in this, the second period of extra time. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And there goes the whistle. Music to the ears of all our fans. Ladies and gentlemen, the 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 well, it was always going to be tight, but they just about had enough energy and quality in that extra time to take them through to the final. Yes, there'll be some tight legs out there, but they won't care about that. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Brazil versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Fred. Rafinha. Danilo and teammates around him and Neymar well the threat was very real marvellous defending bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next so we have an early booking here to report Stuart yeah I think the referee's absolutely right he's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here and the danger cleared Gabriel Jesus, perfect tackle, and France come away with it. Well, they have it again. Untidy on the ball. Rafinha. Vinicius Junior. Casemiro. Fred. Here's Rafinha. Neymar. Rafinha. And moving the ball nicely. Not really the ideal clearance. He succeeds in clearing it. And a tiny challenge. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. Danilo. Riesma. Alex Tevez. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of Neymar. two minutes of added time. Let's take another look, a 
and there's the deflection. And from that moment on, the keeper had no chance, did he? So into the second half, can France bounce back after that first 45? And they've given him too much space. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. And he took care of it defensively. Paul Pogba. The ball once more. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Oh. This could be the equalizer. Well, the challenge was clean, but the danger not clear. Throw in for France coming up. And into the last 30 minutes now. Benzema! Oh, I can see it. It came off the defender. Thiago Silva. Rafinha. They begin there to intercept. Griezmann. Mbappe. Teo Hernandez. Plenty of support here. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Jesus. Get this good finish! to put the issue beyond all doubts. In it goes! And surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw us away from here. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, goal. leaving the keeper with Number little chance. Post. It's a great goal. Number six, so here, And the ball is moving again. The electronic board has been held in the air, and we're going to have a minimum the of four added minutes. Not the best will be challenge, a minimum of free kick. Four minutes of added time. And the referee brings this final to an end for the first time in 20 years. Brazil are world champions once more. Well, no surprise there, Derek. Brazil have been brilliant, and they fully deserve this trophy.